All right. To the surprise of almost no one, I'm guessing, it's pretty clear that I'm going to be stepping back from Neopets. To me, this is just a bridge too far. And I guess, long story short to some degree, is if this is the way you would like Neopets to go, or you enjoy it, just know that I'm not trying to change your opinion. I don't really care <laughs> to do that. If you see my videos, I'm not trying to become anything special. I'm just having fun, and if you enjoy it, that's cool. But to me, this quest log is just a bridge too far. It's just, uh, you know, the straw that broke the camel's back. There's just no simple way to just disguise this as this is just a money grab and they're just sacrificing the players who have spent 5 10 15 years playing this game yes some on some off but this stupid oversimplification bullshit <laughs> to retcon these items back into the game is just too much to me like so obviously I've had more viewers of my videos the past like two, six weeks, two to six weeks. And before that, like, if you found my videos, it's because you were looking for Neil content and you were going to be a player who was going to spend, you know, somewhere between like half an hour to an hour playing Neopets a day to some players much more than that. But it was at least you like a 10 hour a week, whether you're doing art or playing the game or doing guilds. So to me, I've seen various people in the past like three to six months give 10, 20, 30, 40 hours a week to grind super hard for certain goals and items and, you know, make sacrifices for what they want in this game. And now to see just these last two events are just nothing short of a cash grab. Like, we could go to the Fairy Festival, and obviously, what was the cool thing about it? Oh, hey, free FFQ quest, or if you don't know what that is, the Fountain Fairy quest. But basically, hey, you know what's cool? If you spend and see and buy a pet and paint your pet, because that gives us money, super cool. Oh, and then, let's look at the prize shop here. Like, everyone knows they had the initial prize shop. So obviously, they had an intention of what they were trying to do, but when they saw the outrage was insane, and they just saw how hard people are stroking them off, like, oh, yes, yes, fuck the economy and anyone who's given time and effort to work hard, those piece of shit inflators, oh, maybe not everyone, but these, all this bullshit, real world trading, and to see people that I know and care about just get shit on publicly and just fucking, like, Oh, like, you, uh, just, like, just to see, like, the shit they've been taking, like, I could tell you here, like, I'm gonna, like, I'm, I'm not gonna lie and say, like, I'm doing some great sense of solidarity where I'm gonna, like, to me, it's the principle. They're just fucking the game for money, and they're gonna play this song and dance to see how hard they can fuck you while milking the most they can get out of you, <laughs> and then go from there. And whether this is truly gonna be a pump and dump, because this daily event is just very simply <laughs> to just... Pump up their numbers to showcase that they have X amount of people playing five minutes a day to stroke their pet off for a paintbrush. And then, you know, sell ads, maybe grow the game for advertisement. Maybe some in the future, they're gonna, maybe they're going to try to, like, pump someone else. But, like, just, like, looking at this event, because for me personally, when they took out the four-month subscriber thing, I knew there was fuckery about, like, I'm like, this, this is just not... This isn't a position to take if this game's for is like is gonna survive long term. Like that's how I saw that because that's like I'm getting lost in the woods here. So let's go back to this event. So obviously we saw the very first thing where they had the certain table. Should we go look at that? You know what? I don't give a shit. Nothing to explain this whole long story. Like, but long story short, let's just take a little calculator out here. Tried and true. So in case you missed it, you could get, you could donate 30 items a day and you could get eight points. So you could get 240 points a day and you could get two of these stats. Basically, 
you could donate a bunch of shitty omelets, 30 a day, and you're going to get the equivalent of 3.6 million NP a day. Do you know how many people have earnestly earned 3.6 million NP from like the actual Flash games here? Probably close to less than 50. And to get this every day for, I think it was nine days. I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. Like, they're trying to, like, make it more accessible. Like, okay. I was kind of like, I was too caught up in being a selfish piece of shit and going, yeah, but, like, I'm getting NP. I'm having fun. Like, I, I can gamble more for me. Like, I'm like, oh, I can make more content or more gummy videos. Like, but then when you look at it, and, like, I have known... Four people now who have earned the staff. And I'm not sure if you've actually earned the staff yourself. But let's just look at Illusions Quest Guide. I mean, uh, Illusions. So, I think you have to donate like a... It was like four days. So, to, would you rather... Like, do you think this amount of effort is worth you donating 120 fucking omelets? <laughs> Every 12 hours, you're going to come here. And then you're going to eventually get down here. So, if you did it perfectly, it's going to take you at 12 hours times 50. A little over... That's 40. Number 2 is 24. It's about 25 days minimum if you're doing every 12 hours, okay? So, once you get to level 36... It's be 14 more. You have to give a quest in here at R99. So how many are unbuyable? So of 1,800, about half of them are unbuyable. And it's a 15-minute quest. The amount of effort and work and setup you had to do to legitimately do this. And you're going to say, like, well, these, these filthy resellers and price gougers are doing this. I'm like, yes, at any point, TNT could have made other ways to make these items more accessible. They could change the rarity. They could have made them stock in more shops more easily. They could have done a thousand things. What do they do? <laughs> they just make it a reward where you give a bunch of omelets and useless shit you've never thought about twice. Like, I've tried these quest lines once or twice, and then I've gotten to, like, I think I got to 35 once or 36. And then I got a statue that cost 2.4 million. I'm like, yeah, I'm not I'm not committed to pay another 10 quests and potentially losing 20 to 70 more million to get a staff worth 250 million, give or take 25 or at a given time. So like, I was like, I, I was too caught up in the whole issue here. Like, <clears throat> being a selfish prick, obviously. So now when I see this prize thing, so like in case you missed the most obvious thing, this is going to be a reoccurring thing. They're going to have every, every seven days, they're going to have a new daily quest prize pool. And then they're going to have a new weekly prize pool. And to me, this is just my bridge too far. <laughs> like... A daily reward where you just get rare shit. So, like, eventually, like, this to me isn't fun, engaging. They've ruined any sense of an end game. Like, to some people, that's fun. Go for it. Like, I don't give a shit anymore about this because, like, I'm, <laughs> like, I'm tapped out. It's enough. GG. Like, if, like, if you want to sell the game for a quick, quick money and profit, go ahead. But... So you can just see the numbers down here. Yeah, like obviously they're going to worth zero. I personally haven't got anything super cool or rare, but if you just follow the numbers, you just <laughs> like it's was worth 25k, worthless. 175 AK. And a lot of people really are trying hard to, to justify the sense that like that this is gonna be an overwhelmingly good thing for the game. And does <clears throat> and that's true in some sense. We're like, hey, if you want to make this game hyper casual and to be a glorified mobile game while on your Flash, or <laughs> actually Flash is gone, but like through your browser, go ahead. But to me, like, I, I'm done with that. I can't. Like, this to me isn't fun. It's not engaging. And it's just, it's just literally, <laughs> it's literally a cash grab. 
It's just to get you to keep playing, yada, yada, yada. And it's one thing to say, hey, like, these are the, <clears throat> the rewards. Like, hey, hey, go spend the Wheel of Mediocrity that the best prize is 4k, but you can get all these items. Obviously, like, there's some that were super egregious, like, should we be giving, like, <clears throat> retired paintbrushes? I guess, I think they're still gettable from Nerk Bids. I'm not sure why, but why, why did we send a paintbrush from 6 million down to nothing? I don't know why, but they chose to. An R98 MP? They could have given this to max, like, R85 or R91. They could have done many things different here, but, like, they're like, no, we need you to suckle on our tits. Just suckle, suckle every day so we can tell and show people our numbers, our player base. Because nothing gets you more addicted than free shit for doing nothing. <clears throat> oh. Like, just no time investment. Just get the shit you, like, I mean, to say you don't deserve it's a bit rough. But, like, like you, you didn't earn this. And then, like, you get to just, obviously, kind of funny that they, they, they patched the quick spiel for the Wheel of Monotony. <laughs> but you fucked up one of the paintbrushes. This was half the reason to do this anyway. So, congrats to whoever decided to do that. But, so these are all basically worthless. <clears throat> Unless, I guess, someone wants a price gouger. But... This is where, like, I went from, like, oh, we're, we're going from, like, having, like, oh, like, we're just going to, like, see how it is. So, like, this is a clusterfuck. We're, like, I know three people who, I think their accounts are, are they 10? They've been playing for 10 years. I'm not sure how, how old their actual personal account is now because they've been getting back old accounts, yada, yada, yada. But their their weekly price is 100K. <laughs> Like, oh man, and like this not being hidden behind sub <clears throat> or premium. Oh man, like it's just, it's just too much. But like, the idea that they're gonna add these items. So like, if you want to go here and tell me that you deserve this because for seven days you spun a wheel, you got five points in a game, you put a wig on your pet, you took it off, you fed your pet and you groomed it, that you deserve, <laughs> you deserve or earned these retired exclusive items that are worth tens of millions, these rare prize codes. Uh, like a better than you prize that's, that's gone, retired. Yeah, like... Just every week seeing the brand new items here. Like, hey. Right now, a lot of people are just like rubbing their, oh yeah, like, oh, I love it. They're just like that South Park guy. Like, they're just like, hold on. There's a lot of people right here. They're just getting off to people just like essentially just losing tens of millions of Neo points or hundreds of thousands actually. But yeah, just like, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Tell us more of how you got fucked. Oh yeah. I'm getting off to it. But yeah, so, <clears throat> like, if TNT wants to fuck the game to the ground doggy style, and right now your head might not be the one, like, in the pavement and dirt, and hey, like, you might never get the chance because you play 10 minutes a day. So, I mean, <laughs> truth be told, hopefully your life, you do well enough to where you get a termless carousel where you're going to get fucked in real life, not just in a game. Because to me, it's the principle that I care about. Like, this... This just makes no goddamn sense. We're bringing back Drake transmog potions? Why? I think they're like exclusively just through the vortex. But like, hey, you know what? This, you fucking groomed your pet. You deserve a Drake MP. <laughs> you deserve a candy paint, a croc? You deserve it. Ice hissy, you earned it. For seven days, you logged in. Like, th this is just a great structure. You log in, you get all the exclusive items. And let's take a little peeker, actually. Let's... <clears throat> How many items are worth over 10 million? Well, 350, well... So, if they're going to fuck about, you know... 
25 a week. They got about another, you know, 10 weeks to do this. So, hey, it, it, it that to you is fun where everyone owns everything and you, time invested means nothing where you just got to log in for <laughs> five minutes where you know the wheels are. I'm surprised there's not even a guy to, like, just do it for you basically at this point. But, like, just seeing all these items, like, yeah, no, we just... You pet your like you rub your pet off five times, seven times. This goodie bag we had this about no. So to me, I just just whatever fun I could possibly have this spring bag also like to me it's the bridge too far, and I know most people here watch this video care, but it like if you want to have fun doing this and eventually hey like. <clears throat> Hopefully you'll enjoy it for a week or two or three, and then if people get mad, don't worry. They're going to retcon, they'll pull it back, they'll change something. But yeah, like, this is the foreseeable future. This is this is the future of Neopets. And I could talk about various things to do more about also the ambassadors and various other people who know more than I know, and I've heard enough to know various stuff that's planned or that they would like to do. So, I mean, I... I'm just not going to, like, yeah, like, I just can't. I look at them ruining the game that I genuinely care about, and, like, hey, I'd rather leave now and be like, hey, you know what? <clears throat> this is how I want to remember Neopets. Sure, I might make some gambling videos that might, you know, dick around a little bit, do some shit, but, like, this is, this isn't the game, this isn't the system, this isn't, like... <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the vision anyone wanted other than a fat kid who's 10 who wants to eat a third piece of cake. Like, hey, if you want it, cool. But, uh, like, this this to me just isn't it. Like, the, logging in for seven days to get all these items. <clears throat> it's just... Uh, just, it's just so funny how some people got 100k and it's like, yeah, you got 100k while my account's a week old. I'm going to get a snowbunny stamp that was worth 280 million. So, yeah. I'd rather go out, you know, remembering the good times and then just then to see this game go, you know, full down the drain. <clears throat> like a clogged turd. The water's going to come up and... <laughs> You can pretend that stink isn't what that is, but I just can't. So yeah, I don't really care. I'm done with this. It's quite obvious. Crypto bro here is having fun. He wants to get money. He's doing his best. He's going to run the game on the ground to get the max amount of profit. It's quite clear what they're doing here. Like, I could give more, say more, talk more about behind the scenes. But like, it just, if you look at this as fun, good for you. But to me, this is a... Uh, where I say good night, where I bid you adieu. Enjoy your pets, have lots of fun, you guys, if you want to keep playing. But <clears throat> so hopefully, I think get the rewards come through. I think on Tuesday, so can't wait to see what. They're going to have posted for <laughs> November 1st. We'll see it all here. Obviously, the more people complain, the lesser it's going to be. The more people just start stroking hard, the better they're going to be. They're going to give you whatever, whatever the majority want. And if they can get you to pay for it, they will give you exactly what you want. So, have fun. Enjoy it. Make the best out of it. But I think that's all she wrote for me. And like one more time, I said like, hey, like <clears throat> I'm stepping back, whether I quit in one big fashion or a slow fashion, or I just dabble, you know, five minutes a day for shits and giggles. That may be what it is, but like they just took the soul out of the game and just to pretend to pretend it's still a game I care about would just be a lie. Like, they, they can, you know, you can... 
they can make an AI clone of one of your parents or your best friend, but that your person's gone. They died. Like that ain't them, bro. And that's new pets to me. The soul's gone. It's over. This isn't it. <laughs> Someone's dressed up like it, playing with it, and uh, this isn't this isn't how the game was played or how how I want it to be remembered. So peace.